Hey everyone, this is Shaki from Adamos. I've got the Ninja phone over here and we're gonna quickly do an unboxing video and take you through the setup. So here we've got the Ninja phone, your world's first 10-bit co-processor for smartphones where you can connect any camera to your phone directly using the Ninja phone module. So I'm gonna unbox this. And here we've got the phone. Here we've got the USB-C cable that goes from your phone into the Ninja phone with the locking mechanism. I've got the USB-C power cable. You can see over here, you've got a power button, the video output USB-C connection. And this is the power input if you wanna power this up via USB-C with this cable over here. Or you can power it up with the NPF battery. Up over here is the USB-C auxiliary mic which you can connect via USB-C or with the USB-C adapter. Here is the HDMI port. And if I turn around over here, you can see this clamp which holds your phone. And you can adjust this by undoing these two screws and bringing it out or in. The Ninja phone was designed to adapt other smartphones as well, including Android phones. We'll unlock these screws, bring it out. This is the video output, which is USB-C and that needs to connect over there. So we'll line that up accordingly. You wanna just slightly push it up and then tighten that down. And you can want to tighten the other screw up as well. We'll now connect the USB-C connection. The right angle side goes onto the phone and then in to the video out on the Ninja phone. Now that we've got that paired up, I'm going to power this up using an NPF battery, which you're all pretty familiar with. So I'm not going to use a USB-C cable. I'm just going to plug that in. And you can see when I press that button over here, it'll start blinking. Now that's all powered up. You can also buy this HDMI cable, which will be sold separately with this locking mechanism. This is ready to be mounted onto a camera. For this demonstration, I've got the Sony A7S Mark III. I've got a hot shoe mount. And over the side over here, I'm gonna connect the HDMI into the camera's output. And just like that, you've got the Ninja phone attached to your mirrorless camera, ready to go. Got the Ninja phone app. I'm gonna quickly configure the camera to send out the right settings. Real quickly, I just also wanted to show you how to set up for HLG output from your camera for an HDR production. You can actually maximize the 10-bit information that your phone can record. And with HLG, it gives you the best of both worlds of being able to capture SDR and HDR in a log format that's easy to work in post-production. How do we do that? We're gonna press the menu button. Under picture profile, we can go into PP1 or any other of your preference and make sure we set the gamma to HLG. And you can also make sure the color mode is set to 2020. I'm also gonna go into the HDMI output settings on this camera to make sure it's also sending the correct information. This process is also applicable for other camera brands as well. I'm gonna turn off the HDMI info display to off so your Ninja phone's getting a clean signal feed. And just like that, you've got a clean feed coming onto your Ninja phone that's an HLG signal. You can tap once to hide the tools. You can tap once again to bring up the tools. Here you've got a status indicator that your Ninja phone is now connected. Here you can see streaming, camera to cloud, or live production using Atomos Cloud Studio. Fill up your details using the Atomos Cloud Studio and then you can pair it up to your favorite social media service. We'll go into the settings menu. And you can see in the video format up over here, you can shoot in 709 or HLG. We highly recommend using HLG to get the best out of the 10-bit signal coming out of your camera. You can change your video orientation over here. You can either set it manually or you can set it up to auto. So depending on your phone, whichever way it's turned on, it'll automatically change the tool layout. You can choose the codec of what you would like to shoot with. In this case, we're gonna shoot with ProRes 422HQ to make the most. The settings under the proxy record menu are the same settings for your live stream output as well. So if you jump into codec, you can see a couple of different options over there to choose from. With a 10-bit stream, you can send out an HDR image onto supported platforms like YouTube. I can go into the output resolution and choose my preference. Under quality, I get a few different options on how the image is gonna be compressed. To make the most of it, I'm gonna hit extreme. You can also assign the function button. Here by default, it's assigned to play recent. You can also choose what other tools you would like. Here under the viewfinder menu, you've got all the monitoring tools available in front of you and you can tweak them to your preferred preference.
Underneath over here, you can configure Atomos Cloud Studio. You've got a hardware over here, which shows you your firmware version and for you to update your firmware. And finally, you can reset all your settings. So that's the all new Ninja phone rigged up and ready to go. And now you're ready to shoot your next project in HDR using the Ninja phone. Go get creative.